on Fox 8. There's three different stories we got in three weeks. Local leaders not happy with BP's plans for what to do once the oil leak is permanently stopped. So today, they gathered at New Orleans Sea Hall to make their list of demands. The heat so intense outside, roads are buckling in several different spots in Metairie. Record setting temperatures all across the area. How much longer will this heat wave continue? That full weather authority forecast is just ahead. Locals and tourists strolling through the French Quarter could soon see more trash on the street. I'm Allison Brack and we'll tell you why coming up on Fox 8 News. Fox 8 News at 9 starts right now. Live in HD from WVUE TV New Orleans. This is Fox 8 News at 9. The government's point man on the Gulf oil spill is dismissing claims from congressional investigators that the Coast Guard gave BP too much leeway to use chemical dispersants. That's despite guidelines from the EPA saying dispersants should rarely be used. Today, Thad Allen said federal regulators did not ignore those guidelines. We spoke to a toxicologist out of Florida tonight. He tells us the dispersant itself may not be toxic, but when combined with oil, he says this is what happens. And where we found petroleum in the water column itself, it contained alarming quantities of what's known as PAHs, including phenanthrene, benzo, B, fluoranthine, which is a potential human carcinogen, and other hydrocarbons. But the concern is that these PAHs are very well known to scientists, without dispute, to bioaccumulate in marine uh, critters, such as blue crab. That was uh, Dr. William Sawyer, a toxicologist out of Sanibel, Florida. He says the long-term effects of the dispersants on sea life are unknown.